Well, happy Sunday, everyone. As you can see, I decided to shoot outside today because it's gorgeous and there's some really good stuff to get into today. So let's do it. Matt, the elusive flow state. Well, I thought what better place to talk about the flow state and about slowing down than out in nature. As a creative, the flow state is very much what I attribute to like a good meditation. And it all revolves around the mind. If you try to get into the flow state, just like if you try to have a good meditation, it doesn't work because you're stuck here. It is when you release the mind's grasp of trying to get somewhere that you can enter into that state of almost unconscious being and doing. And I think it's really important to try to cultivate that as much as possible, both personally and professionally, so that you can enter the flow state more easily without trying. No matter you asked what I do to get into it, I think it really does come down to experience and building up a kind of muscle memory so that you just enter it without trying, without even being aware that you are. Now for me, I've found it's actually harder and harder because as owners of a company, we get less and less uninterrupted creative time. And I do find that the flow state happens when you are in a space where you can be creative for a longer amount of time. And for us, you know, it's hard to do that. We'll have questions from the, the team. We may have to stop for a meeting or a call. And just the day-to-day -day operations of running a business can really be challenging to enter the flow state. But what I have found for me to enter it is that first, I take a step back and take a really deep breath. So let's say I'm on set and I'm about to do a makeup. I'll stop, I'll take a really deep breath, and a lot of times I'll just look around me in the trailer or at the space I'm working at and almost say a little prayer of gratitude, get into a thankful state that I'm here doing this job, um, doing the job that I've worked my whole life for, that I've dreamed about. And getting into that space then allows me to enter the state. I've noticed that when I do the makeup, I'm not thinking. I just go into this place of, of really working and enjoying what I'm doing without trying to second guess every move. And I think that's a really important state for a creative to cultivate because as soon as we enter the mind and start judging all of our moves, our next moves, second guessing, we immediately take ourselves out of the creative space because we're in the mind, we're not in the space of creation, which is internal. So I find deep breaths, as you said, slowing down um, and really entering a space of gratitude. Those, those kind of three elements have really helped me when I need it and when I can be in a, a prolonged state of creativity to kind of go into a really beautiful state of, of just doing. You asked, when did I notice this came about? Um, I think just over years. I mean, for me, it's been 33 years of doing this, not professionally, but I started when I was 11 or 12 years old. So 33 years of practicing and doing, I'd say probably somewhere after the 25 year mark, 26 year mark is when I was able to more, is when I was able to more quickly enter those states uh, when I have that, that time to be creative. But it is few and far between now, so um, I'm more conscious of it. Now leading a busy life as a husband, as a father, and a business owner um, can also make it challenging. So for me, what I've also found has really been important in my life is having a regular meditation practice. Just learning to quiet myself down and be more in tune with my inner voice. That's helped me, I think, be much more in tune when it comes time to creation because there really is no difference, no separation at that point. Creation comes from an inner space of calm and, uh, and I believe the flow state comes from the same space. But I do notice that time, experience, patience, cultivation of self, cultivation of creativity, and really having trust in your abilities has allowed me to enter those states a little bit more rapidly. I do fight my nature. Sometimes I do just want to rush. Uh, and that's kind of part of who I am. 
and I've had to learn to take deep breaths and slow down. Knowing who you are and what your natural inclination might be is really important because then as you become self-aware, you know where you might go and you can curb that so you can get to that place of, of real flow. Great question, Matt. I'd love to see some comments on this. I think this is a great topic and this is something that we could continue on in future videos. I hope everyone enjoys their weekend wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and I hope each of you find some time to enter some calm, peace, and tranquility today for the upcoming week. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.